Welcome to Food and Beverage Services. Food and Beverage Services Lesson Information 1.2 Our topic is Taking Reservation. Types of Restaurant Reservations there are two types of restaurant reservations, the manual reservation and the online reservation. The manual reservation system depends on the person designated, usually a host or hostess, to answer the phone, record the details of the said reservation, and taking their credit card information as guarantee. They may also answer guest questions, give accurate directions to the restaurant, and provide clear information about parking. Forms will be used for reservation customer details. System and processes have to work so the information collected can be stored and made available on the dates it is required. Product information such as room types, menu items, rate sheet prices, car types, live entertainment, bus destination will also be in the form of brochure, charts, and handouts for the staff. Accounting processes to collect the method of payment would be a cash register, petty cash box, manual credit card machine, or cashier to process the money. The other type of restaurant reservation is the online reservation system. It makes use of the internet through a website where all the necessary information needed for reservation is keyed in by the guests. Other information about the restaurant such as directions to the place, parking, active promotions, and discounts are also available online instead of depending on the host or hostess for details. Online information also provides up-to-date or real-time information on the availability at the push of a button. When a reservation is recorded, the availability is automatically altered. Displays a suitable screen to input customer information and requests. A computer system may have a history of any guest who has used the establishment previously. It can st store information such as preferred room type, record of request, date of last day, even the amount spent previously. Elements of Reservation Elements of Reservation People make reservations for convenience and security. Many people like to plan out their holiday or business trip to feel secure in the knowledge that they have a room waiting for them, they have a prepared table for comfortable dining, they have a flight book to take them back to their home or next destination, and know they have seen all the attractions of the city during their stay. The role of reservation stop is to ensure that they process all reservations in an efficient and professional manner. Types of Bookings Types of Bookings First is the accommodation suppliers. Guests will need to have a room bookings process in order to stay at establishments that provide accommodation such as hotels, apartments, resorts, guest houses, and caravan parks. Aircraft Passengers need to have seats booked for all types of air travel they undertake. These bookings will vary according to the airline chosen, class of travel such as first class or economy, date of flying, high season or low season, or facilities that are included, such as food or movies. Cruise ships Passengers on cruise ships 
need to make bookings for the dates of their cruise. This sort of reservation may include meals while on board. Coaches or buses to travel from one place to another or to visit tourist destination. Another type of bookings is for limousines or rentals of cars and vans. Customer can book transport to either drive themselves around or have a chauffeur included in the vehicle. Day or extended tours. It includes meals and maybe accommodation and entrance fees to tourist parks. Dining and meal reservations. These are table bookings for restaurants and eating houses. Entertainment bookings. A ticket booking such as theater or music concerts. Tourist attractions. Bookings for events such as different ethnic festivals of the Philippines. Other venues. Some airlines will book accommodation for guests. If one hotel is fully booked, they might make a reservation at another hotel. Travel agents book theater or concert tickets. Here are some ways to check availability of bookings. First, ability to offer alternatives when the requested booking is not available. Second, provide information on the cost and product features. Third, record the details and requirements of the person making reservation. A way of recording the acceptable method of payment and provide confirmation details. Ways Reservation May Be Received Reservations can be received by an establishment in many ways depending on where they are, what they are offering, and what technologies they have available. Here are some ways the reservation may be received. First, in person. The customer comes in the establishment and communicates directly with the staff. Second, over the telephone. Customers dial the establishment directly. And third, by mail. In some countries today, this is almost an extinct form for making a reservation. Another way of reservation may be received is through email, a booking through an email address. Fax email or fax, this is another form of communication that is being replaced by technology. Internet, an online booking via website. And third-party reservations, a booking that uses a reservation company to make booking for you, like What If, Asia Rooms, Istra Travel, or Showbiz Asia. Next is True Central Reservation Service, a central reservation service that controls reservations for several venues. Number 9, Same Chain Referral, a reservation that has been referred from another establishment belonging to the same group, for example, Asian Car Rental, Hyatt Hotel, and Hilton's Pass. How to Make Table Reservations Before taking a reservation, make sure you know the answer to the questions which are likely to be asked, following our tips and some possible questions in taking reservations. Tips in taking table reservations. Number one, answer inquiries promptly, clearly, as accurate as possible. Second, ask pertinent questions to complete the details of the reservation. Take note of specials and changes in the menu and make sure to inform guests about it. Third, gather all pertinent information on the reservation from the guests politely and efficiently. Fourth, accurately record reservation data on forms and based on establishment standards. Number five, confirm customer reservations prior to their arrival. 
Number six, impart additional information to the guests such as food establishment, parking conditions, and directions to the establishment. Number seven, always be calm and polite when speaking to the guests. And finally, avoid double booking. Here are some possible questions of customers when taking reservations. First, what kind of cuisine do you offer? Example, French, Italian, Cantonese, and Modern Australian. Next is, what style of menu do you offer? They can also ask, do you accept credit cards? If yes, which credit card do you take? Fourth, can we bring other foods and drinks brought from outside? Another possible questions are, is there a core cage for food and drinks bought from the outside? If yes, how much? What time do you start serving for lunch and for dinner? Do you accommodate children? Do you cater persons with a disability? Number 9. Are all rooms air-conditioned? 10. Do you have parking facilities? 11. Do you cater special functions? 12. Do you have smoking area? And how do we get there? What is the nearest landmark? So those are the possible questions of customers when taking table reservations. Telephone Ethics Telephone plays an important role in times of reservation on phone. Perfect telephone handling ensures efficiency of the reservation agent, which at the same time upholds standard. Telephone ethics are set of moral principles used when handling telephone. The following are the tips that will help you communicate better over the phone. First is the greetings. Telephone conversation expect you to open the conversation with a nice greetings. Next is to take permission and be polite. A polite word or two always helps in bringing warmth in the conversation. Next is identify self and the organization. Always introduce yourself before getting into any conversation. Then, clarity. Do not use broken phrases. Always use a clear and simple language. Number five, purpose of the call. Think through exactly what you plan to say and practice before you place the call. Jotting down the items you want to discuss. Number six, know your timeline and keep it short. Seven, avoid fillers and keep it interesting. Filler words like um and ah uh must be avoided during the telephone conversations. Eight, smile through the telephone. Keep a smile in your voice. Number nine, find some quiet place, clearly without background noise. And finally, summarize, paraphrase, and close. Always end the call pleasantly. A time to remember. This is Mylene Huliganga. Thank you for watching.